Well, calving season is in full swing here on the ranch, and today I wanted to take you along and show you how I tag and weigh newborn calves. I do just want to take one quick second, guys, and thank each and every one of you for your support of this channel in the last few months. When I started this back in November of last year, I had no idea that in just a few months that we'd be sitting at 10,000 subscribers. And I just appreciate you guys so much. I appreciate all the comments and all the support and all the love. And it's just been really fun. And I hope to just keep this going. And uh, hopefully you guys continue to enjoy the channel into 2024. And I'm just excited to continue to share with you the Wyoming way. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so this pair right here is one of mine, so it's going to get a yellow ear tag. And uh, the rest of them, the blue, the white, the green, those are my dad's cows. The reason for the different colored ear tags is because we have different cow lines, different genetic lines, lineage for certain cows here. And so it's a, just a handy, easy way to keep things organized. So this is the ear tagger these little pliers here and you just take this tag there's a hole right here in the end of it you take that hole you stick it onto this pin push it and then twist it down and then you just squeeze these pliers and it punches right through the ear it's really easy and then this is the calf fishing pole what i call it <laughs> i designed and built this last year uh, basically, Dad and I were getting tired of lifting these calves by hand. It was really hard on our backs, and we, we had sore backs at the end of every day. And some of these calves weigh, you know, upwards 90, 95, 100 pounds. So we used to, like, we used to wrap a strap around their shoulder and front arm and then one around the hind leg. And then we'd have to, like, pick them up and hold them up high enough so that the get them off the ground so the scale would weigh them. And it, it was just brutal on the back. And it also took two people to do this setup's really nice because uh, it's a one-man job and it takes all the lifting out of it and it's just really slick. So it's got this uh, controller for the winch and a little handy digital scale. And uh, so this is how it set up when I'm just driving around and then when we go to weigh something, I just flip this up, turn it around like this. And you are ready to go. I'm actually gonna put it back up because this calf kind of ran off over there. So we're gonna have to go track him down again, but. So basically just turn the scale on. Make sure it's in pounds, not kilograms. Try to snag this calf before he tries to get away. And I just, I just hook them in the cradle like that. And then what's really nice is like, you still have to lift these calves a little bit, but the way this cradle is set up, it's kind of like lifting a big suitcase. It's like, I have a nice handle to hold on to, and I only have to get them so far off the ground, you know? So it's really pretty easy. And I don't have to bend over and like use my back to lift it all. So then I just, Hook them right there. Then I just make sure that they are nice off the ground and get a good accurate measurement here. We are at 92 and a half, I'll round up to 93. And then the cradle weighs about 10 pounds. So we'll call him 83. 
and it is a bull calf. So I put this tag right here in this bottom third of the ear. There's there's two lines of cartilage right there, and I go right here in the bottom. And just go ahead and put the tag in like that. And the reason I do that is because um, we have to tattoo these calves, so we have to leave room right here to put a tattoo. So I put the tag there towards the bottom. And the cool thing about these calves at this age is that their little ears are really thin and there's hardly any blood in them. Like in the first 24 hours of a calf's life, there's very little going on in their ears. So you can see it, it I mean, they feel it a little bit, but it really doesn't hurt them that bad. Hardly ever get any blood. And then, and then to let them go, you just kind of flip them out. Just like that. And they are good to go. We go on to the next one. Wait, how much was that? How much did he weigh? 83? I think it was 83. Yeah, I think he was 83. I, I'm going to write it down. Okay, so here we have 1C31. That's the cow's number. Brand new baby, that one was only born just a few hours ago. I'm gonna walk him around the other side. Looks like a pretty good sized calf. Oh, partner. There we go. Yeah, that's a good sized calf. 99.4, so 89 pound, I'm assuming it's a bull. Yep, right here in the bottom third, just like that. And we are good to go. Two down, two to go. 89 bull, and that was 1C31. Cool, on to the next one. Switched over to kilograms again. I don't know why it does that. All right. OD50, yep. Nice calf. Cause she's, she wants to know what's going on. 
Come on, little fella, you're gonna have to get up for me. Come on, big guy. I know, I'm sorry, you were just having such a nice morning. There we go. Oh, he's a live one. Okay, I'm gonna guess on him somewhere around mid 80s, 85 maybe. Maybe a little, maybe a little heavier. Maybe 90. Oh yeah. He's uh, actually 107. 107, so we're gonna give him 97. So I was way off on him. Bull calf. Oh, hold still there, big guy. Hang on. Hang on. It's all right, Mom. It's all right. I'll tell you what's really nice about all these cows is that my dad over the decades has basically weeded out all of the bad dispositions in these cows and I don't think we have a cow right now that would come get you. Um, I remember when I was a kid we'd be tagging calves and some of these cows would depending on their breeding they were a little hotter blooded than some of the other ones and I mean, if you grabbed a cow, if you grabbed one of these cows, calves like that, and, and they bawled, that cow would come running and she might just smash you into the dirt. I mean, I'm not kidding you. They were scary and they, they'd get you. They would hurt you. Um, you know, I, I remember many times running underneath vehicle or jumping up into the back of the pickup to get away from one or jumping over a fence, trying to get away from one. But all these cows are really good. Um, the first 24 hours after they calve, their hormones are really high and they, that's where you will, if one is going to get you, that's when they're going to get you is in that first 24 hours. Um, but like I say, we haven't had any issues with any of these cows in, in quite a while. And the ones that do give us troubles, we usually, we just get rid of them. We cull them. Um, I mean, it's one thing for a cow to be protective where you want that, but, um, the ones that, run you up into the pickup and stuff. We just kind of get rid of them. It's not worth it. So we need to be safe and we need to do what we do safely. And we don't want to have animals around like that that are dangerous. So these cows are all sweethearts. They're all good to be around, good to handle for the most part. So there's our last one to do today. And this is a two-year-old, so this is her first calf. Good job, mom. And obviously two-year-olds, you, you don't know what they're gonna be like when you grab their calf. So you, I, kind of, I kind of always pay attention to the cow a little more, make sure she's not gonna try to smash me, but I can already tell she's gonna be fine. Two-year-olds are also pretty young and immature and they're not very brave. So they can, most of them are kind of chickens. But there have been some two-year-olds in the past that would light you up when you grab their calf the first time. That's pretty rare. Come on, bud. You got to get up for me. Come on, little guy. There you go. Come on. There you go. Okay. And this one, 93, so 83. That's a pretty good size calf for a first calf heifer to have. 83 pound bull. There we go. Uh, 
nothing to it. Come on, little dude. There you go. The best way to explain why we get birth weights on these newborn calves is to give you an example. Let's say you were a rancher and you had a group of year and a half old heifers that you wanted to get bred. You wanted to get them pregnant so they'd have a calf. As two year olds, they'd have their first calf. You want to breed them to a bull that's going to be a low birth weight bull, a calving ease bull. Those heifers are only going to be 70 to 80% of their mature size as two year olds when they're going to calve for the first time. And if you bred them to a bull that had say a 90 or 95 pound birth weight, well, those heifers are going to have calves that have high birth weight too. And in many instances, they're going to struggle to have those calves. And you're going to end up having a lot of management headache and a lot of intervention to get those heifers calved. On the other hand, if you breed those heifers to a calving ease bull that say had a birth weight between 65, 75 pounds, those heifers are not gonna have very many complications calving. It's just pure simple physics. I remember a long time ago as a kid, there was a lot less data on bulls. And every once in a while we'd get some heifers bred to bulls that were not calving ease bulls and boy, we'd pay for it. You'd have to get a bunch of them in to the pull shed and, and intervene and pull great big 90 pound, 90 plus pound calves out of these little heifers. And sometimes the calf would be dead or the heifer would strain so hard she'd prolapse. It was just, it was not a pretty sight. So, uh, so the birth weight data is extremely useful and important to have. And again, since these are all registered calves, it's required for their registration that, that we collect birth weight data and send that into the Angus Association. And that way, anybody that's gonna potentially buy bulls from us, they can look at that data and make decisions based on what they're looking for. Now, higher birth weight is okay in mature cows that have calved a few times and are pros at it. Birth weight isn't as much of an issue and you might want those higher performance calves. But like on heifers or in a, any situation where you're trying to lower birth weight generally, you want to look at that. That's going to be one of the first things, first criteria you look at when selecting a bull is the birth weight. And in the genetics of the cattle that we run, I would say a low birth weight would be like maybe 60 to 75 pounds. And then an average or middle, middle of the road birth weight would be of, you know, 75 to maybe 85 pounds, and then high birth weight would be anywhere north of 85 pounds. Some of these bull calves out of the registered cows will weigh over 100 pounds, so definitely um, high birth weight. We, we do run into some high birth weight here and there, which again is not a huge issue. Depends on what you're trying to do in your, in your cow herd. But generally, when the birth weights get over 90, 95 pounds, you're starting to get into some pretty significant birth weight. Well, there you have it, folks. That's how I tag and weigh all the calves around here. I tell you what, that's pretty slick. It only took me about 15 minutes to do those four calves, and best part about it is my back doesn't hurt right now. So, so we've been averaging two to four calves a day, and that'll go on for, oh, three, maybe four weeks at the most. Uh, just got a little bunch of registered cows here that we have to tag and weigh. Um, here in about six weeks, when we go to brand these calves, we will collect a DNA sample off them, a, a blood sample, and send that in to get analyzed to find out who the sire was. We used to try to take blood samples uh, when we tagged and weighed, but again, as I was saying earlier, it's really hard to collect blood on a newborn calf. They just, they don't have a lot of blood pumping through their extremities. <laughs> When they're, when they're so young, so like it's hard to get blood out of their ear. Um, but at branding time, it's really easy to get
get a blood sample. So we have these little paper cards and you just poke them in the ear and, and get a big dab of blood on a blood card, send it in, and, and then they can analyze it and tell you who the sire was. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. I think I'll wrap this video up, maybe do a little drone footage, some cool drone shots for you guys, just to give you an update and kind of let you see how things look here on the ranch this time of year. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one.